Today, my friends, we're gonna be playing Balloons TD6 with Aaron from Mr. Who's the Boss. Him and I are gonna be working to beat round 1000 using a custom modded Mr. Who's the Boss tower. If you enjoy this, please subscribe and turn on notifications. We're trying to hit 1.5 million subscribers. Oh my God, I, that's me. Here, we gotta send you some, I'm gonna send you all my money. There you go, you should be able to buy it and place them down. Smack them right down in the middle. I should be able to buy me. <laughs> This is ridiculous. It's a 3D model, like a custom... Yeah! He made this? Mm -hmm. Our modder made it just for you. Look at him. And so the way he works is he throws exploding smartphones at balloons. Oh my <laughs> god. Okay, we're gonna Holy need to... Money. We gotta make some money though. We gotta be able to buy the, your next upgrade. We gotta get training weights on you, dude. Holy money. I'm actually kind of underpowered for a thousand dollar tower. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Don't worry. We'll... We'll be getting up there in rounds. I I can't say for certain, but he says that this tower is strong enough to beat round 1,000. 1,000? So we're going to be trying to beat round 1,000 using the Mr. Who's the Boss Tower. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, the furthest I've ever got is 320. I have this ongoing save file on logs, and I keep kind of logging back into it. To, That's to, like, still see if I can crazy, do an extra round. actually. That's probably further than I've actually ever gotten on vanilla balloons. Mm, it's on hard too. <laughs> Are you serious? That's, I uh -huh. think it's so funny that you play balloons. I was shocked when I saw you, I watched your video and you're like, yeah, uh, you know, my favorite game, Balloons Tower Defense. And I was like, what? No way, we got another homie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the crazy thing for me here is like, Balloons is is like my, my second life. And so the fact that you exist and you like it even more than I do, maybe. That's just a small world. It's so funny because I talk to people and I always think that Balloons is kind of like a relatively small game. And then I'll be talking to someone, I'll be like, yeah, I play Balloons. And they're like, yo, I used to play that game all the time as a kid. You know, I'm like on my school school computer in the cafeteria, we'd be playing like Balloons TD 2 and 3. And I was like, whoa, super small world. I'm trying to look like closely, what phone am I throwing? Do you know what it is? I do not know exactly what phone that you're throwing. Maybe you're throwing one of the monkey tech phones. Because the monkeys, they have their um, they have their own tech. They have the they have banana. That's their phones. They have. <laughs> interesting. I kind of want to watch it in like slow motion, okay, the animation, here. and see what's Let's... actually coming up. I guess actually. So I made a video recently where I was saying that Samsung phones had potentially exploding batteries. So I guess you could call it a Samsung. I think it's a Samsung. I think that's the probably the best option to call it. That is crazy that there's just some phones that like, oh yeah, you know, your phone might just explode. No biggie, no problem. <laughs> it, that's in the small print. Well, yeah, they, they technically, I didn't witness any exploding, but they just had very, very suspiciously enlarged batteries. <laughs> okay, that's I don't. That's even worse in a sense where you're just like, huh, it might explode, who knows? Yeah, it's very alarming because it's like, what they say is if you have a phone with an expanding battery, don't continue to use it. But then there's probably a certain level of expansion of which you don't know if it's expanded yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you're like, oh, my phone seems a little bit like thicker than usual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you should send me your money. We got to get some banana farms going. We got to get, uh, uh, we got to get some wait, more uh, money. I still can't believe this. There's like custom artwork as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing. He, when we, you click the tower. He put a lot, there was a lot of love and time that went into the Mr. Who's the Boss Tower. We were just, because uh, I was shocked when you were like yo i would love to do a video i was like no way we gotta make this like we gotta make this a banger yeah it's even like got my logo on the hoodie like it's insane that was even if you click on it the like the picture he's doing is like a replication of your your uh, youtube oh, profile yeah. which cracks me up <laughs> because we did it and the second we did it and we're about to ready you changed your profile picture for it and we're like oh my goodness oh my god <laughs> That's okay, I'll change it back for you till this video goes up. Perfect. <laughs> or just change it to the monkey one. Just That'll be your new <laughs> YouTube profile <laughs> picture. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I gotta ask, what so, kind of got you into YouTube and doing like the, you know, the tech review and like, how, what was your kind of path on the YouTube thing? So for me, I had a pretty tough school life, I would say. I just got picked on a lot, basically. And um, at around the same time, my brother got me my first ever smartphone. And I just started using this thing and I was like, this is insane. And I would kind of look at this phone and the life I could have with that and look at the rest of my life and be like, there's a clear choice here. <laughs> and so I got really, really interested and invested in this phone, like learning everything I could about it. And I guess 
in a way that kind of taught me about phones in general so that I could start sharing it. That's amazing. It's so funny because I feel like most YouTubers all share a similar experience where we're kind of introverted. We don't like, we're kind of like keep to ourselves. <laughs> and then we find something that we really passionate about, fully dive into it. And then we somehow are able to, you know, have a, a successful YouTube channel on it, you know, 10 years down the line or something. That's so accurate. Would you describe yourself as introverted? So yes. I know in a sense. So I was homeschooled my whole life. So I never went to public school. So I was kind of like uh -huh. forcibly introverted in a sense where I was just like never really around people. So I grew up on a horse farm. And so most of my time I spent, I love playing video games growing up. And also I taught myself how to animate at a young age. And so that was kind of how I got into the whole thing was I taught myself how to make Minecraft animations. <laughs> no way. <laughs> And did, you ever, um, did you ever use a program called Pivot? Oh, that's what I started. I literally made stick no. figure. I made stick figure animations using Pivot. That's how. That's how I started. <laughs> I have videos Legit up same. from like ten years ago of my stick figure animations that I would make. Oh my god, we're basically the same person. Here, you, okay, <laughs> you can get the next upgrade. You can buy some training oh, weights. Yeah, yeah. There we oh, go. I love this. It tells tells you exactly what it is. Camo detection, three damage, no immune balloons. Uh, right. Oh, look, see, now you got the red wristbands. You're ready to go. Every single upgrade changes how the model looks. Yeah, isn't that awesome? <laughs> we're gonna That's need, incredible. We're going to need even more money, though. We got to get here. Let's get some. We need to We need to get All some right, more here. more Ooh. action going here. Let's get. Hmm. Wait, so what am I shooting now? I'm still shooting a phone. It's just doing three damage a hit. Yeah, it's doing. We need to because the next upgrade where well, you get the tech enhanced cloth, you get double projectiles and more damage and more range. So it's just going to be like tech way better. Tech enhanced cloth. Yeah, dude. You what gotta, does that even mean? I have, dude. <laughs> it's just your shirt's just like that soup, super extra mi microfiber. Okay, it's the Google shirt, dude. We're losing. We, all right, we got to get this tech enhanced this is bad. cloth. This What's is bad? bad? We're losing. We got. I'm shutting down. All right, I'm gonna throw down Gwendolyn. Yeah! What? Why did none of us think of putting a hero? What is it like to do balloons for a living? It's very interesting. For me, it's kind of like a normal thing now. But it's basically like I just get to play my favorite video game every day. And it's kind of like I get to sit down and go, okay, how do? what do I want to do? Like, what would be a fun thing to do? Let's add Shrek to Balloons Tower Defense. And I hit up my modders <laughs> like, yo, we should add Shrek to Balloons Tower Defense. And then we just get, we just go with it. So. I, there's so many different styles of making YouTube videos. And personally, I feel that gaming is probably the easiest because at the end of the day, I really just, I sit down and I film myself playing a video game, right? And there's no, hmm. like with the, this content that you do, you have to get the cameras out. You have to get the lighting set up. You have to, you know, you have to get all of the tech and then there's the setup and then the cleanup afterwards. And I feel like there's so <laughs> much. Now, of course, the quality of content that you produce is insane. Yeah. Like the stuff that you put out is <laughs> crazy. Like I watched your Apple, the vision one where you know, you flew out to a place and got to test it, and then you're talking in this mm. like super awesome spot. So there's like so much that goes into it, which is like crazy to me. Yeah, there's definitely a lot that doesn't get seen by the viewer. Like all the kind of like, sometimes we spend like hours setting up for a shot that's like 10 seconds. That's um, And all the viewer sees is 10 seconds. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're, Whereas you'd probably finish filming a whole video in an hour, right? Like, yeah, exactly, right? I, I, you know, and there's maybe there's some extra stuff with edits and stuff. Really, I think the longest thing it takes is for the planning as well as just like the mod development. So it's like we have an idea for a mod, and then you know it takes a week to two weeks to get it done, right? Because you have to make the ed the 3D model of the animations, then the upgrades and the, you know, you have to make the art for the pictures. So there's so much that kind of goes into it. We're about to have to go up against the Moab. Oh my God, round 38. Dude, I didn't even realize. We're just, oh, we're just cruising along right now. <laughs> we got to get this next upgrade ASAP. I'm trying to see who's getting the most pop. So Gwendolyn's had 2,000, Spike Factory 470. I've had 1,200, not bad. Not bad at all. Don't worry though. You're still only a T1 tower. You're still just like, <laughs> True. he's just kind of schmooving along. Once we start getting up to these higher upgrades, it's gonna be crazy. I'm a little worried about this Moab. <laughs> I'm, I wanna be greedy and I wanna buy the marketplace because that'll be like- I think that's unwise. <laughs> I think that's very unwise. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be safe and I'm just gonna get the overdrive just so we have it and we're good to go. Mm -hmm. That should, that should be able to deal with it. 
There yes. we go. Yeah, yes. let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and get, get us a marketplace because we need we need money because if the T2 is $7,000, I can't even imagine how expensive the rest of the tower is gonna be. I told him to make your tower super powerful because you've only been to round 300, right? So we're actually gonna get all the way up to round 1,000. They get faster and faster like every round, right? So by the time you get to 1,000, what are they even gonna look like? So fortunately for us, we do have a slight mod on that that doesn't the, change the scaling of it. So it's not gonna be completely insane. Because in normal balloons, by the time you hit round 2000, the balloons are so fast that they literally teleport to the end and they just instantly get past. <laughs> no matter if you have like spikes on the floor, no matter what defense you have, they teleport to the end and you just lose. So we have a, a new mathematical system set up for it. So the scaling of the speed is different, but they still amp up in strength and health. So if you don't have enough damage to deal with it, you'll still lose. <laughs> But I mean, so they're still ramping up in in health in the same way that they normally would. Yeah. But it's just the speed is not going stupid. <laughs> exactly. And I mean, once we, once you get to around a thousand, you'll probably need to be able to get, uh, you know, ten billion pops. Uh, you know, twenty billion pops in order to get that far. Lord. <laughs> yeah. And so fortunately, though, we do have a tower. This guy right here. He's called the Time Master. And the Time Master is this really cool tower that allows us to skip through rounds. So as you can see, we're gonna like, we can do this and like, I, we can just skip through like three rounds. So we can skip rounds and, and we still make the money for all of the rounds, but this allows us to just, you know, get to round a thousand without having to sit here for, you know, five hours straight playing through all the balloons. It's time, I'm sending you. I'm down. We're gonna make this the, the longest <laughs> video on the channel. It's time for your next upgrade. Oh my god. Okay. Should we should we get to a stage where we need it? I mean, I feel like we do kind of need it now. We're starting to. Oh yeah, actually, no, that's pretty bad. Okay. Tech enhanced cloth. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh yeah, this too. <laughs> Let's go. All right, I'm getting. I'm oh, it's getting... stunning. Oh, we need, still need more. Uh, we should be fine. I'm gonna get some ninjas here. Those camo balloons are trying to sneak on by. None of that. <laughs> All right, surging energy. So wait, fo oh, so this is where phones explode on impact. And it gives you a crit chance. So, okay, we need to get this next That's upgrade. Cool. We need to get this <laughs> next upgrade. I feel like right now, my character is looking at the rest of the team like, hey guys, I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's he's kind of an underdog right now. So I'm not, he, he he's, he's got to step it up a little bit. Let's try to get, I'm going to send you some more money and you should be able to get the next upgrade now. Now's a good time. Uh, yeah. let's, uh, let's fast forward till we need it, I think. All right, I'm down. Who, who? All right, you crazy. Let's do it. Well, wait, we're about to go <laughs> See, up against I'll... a BFB. We might need it. Okay, okay. I'll keep an eye. All right, all right. I'm watching Bloon's videos. This is kind of how I like to see it. It's like, I want to see uh, someone struggling and then how much difference that upgrade makes. Ooh, all right, I'm down. You know what, you're right. We didn't even need it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That's a little spooky. <laughs> That's a little spooky. Right, we got it. All right, I know what we'll do then. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have a little bit of a backup here, okay? I'm gonna put down a, a, a spike factory and we're gonna, I'm gonna give it some deadly spikes. So in okay. case any, okay. so in case anything tries to sneak by, we'll have that backup. So we can use that next upgrade when we really need it. We can get that next upgrade and then we're gonna be good to go. Cause we're definitely gonna uh, start hitting some more difficult rounds. So question for you, what's your favorite tower? Druid, hands down. I love the Druid. Middle path Druid, where you get Spirit of the Forest. Do you know what? That's like one tower that I just never use. I'm, I just feel like, um, isn't the whole thing, like half of the benefit is that you have to surround it with banana farms and then get the money. It's not, it's, here's the thing. You have, it is like the strongest tower in the game, I feel like. Once you get Druid of the Jungle, is a thousand dollars and you can grab any balloon and it'll lead ceramics instantly pop them any balloons that run over it like if you buy a, a drew just a t3 drew for a thousand dollars at the beginning of the game you check back at round like uh, 95 he's gonna have over forty thousand pops he's crazy the free lives are just a kind of a bonus what's your favorite tower i think my favorite is spike factory uh there's something I really, there's something really satisfying about it, like looking at the floor and knowing like how much damage you've accrued, just kind of waiting there. <laughs> that is very fair. You must be super devastated to know that like the recent nerf on Perma Spike, they just nerfed it by like 50% or something. 
Yeah, my life got 5% worse. <laughs> <laughs> that said, I think Supermines is really, really powerful now. So I'm pretty happy using that, if you can get it. It's the, it is the most buff tower in all of Balloon's history. It has gotten a buff mm -hmm. almost every single update, <laughs> which is bonkers to me. Sometimes you wonder, actually, you may know this, but sometimes you wonder if like they purposefully make certain towers excessively powerful to make them fun to use again. I, I feel like they I feel like they have to, because it's almost like every every tower they release, all the new ones, they just make it super crazy overpowered. So people are like, oh man, like I gotta try out this new tower. Like the beast handler, when they first released it, could one-shot boss balloons. You're like, wait, what? Why is this even yeah. this isn't right? But now that they've gone back on it, like it's kinda underwhelming, I wanna say. Yeah, they do need to put a little bit more into it. I feel like it's it just takes so much brain power to fully optimize it and set it up. You know, it's like, all right, I got to put these guys and merge them in here and then get this upgrade over here. And then there's so much to handle with it. It's also like, it's kind of unreliable, right? Like, because it kind of does high damage, but then has gaps. So it's like... It doesn't do consistent medium damage to, to like sets of balloons. Right, it some, easily can slip through the cracks, which is not something you want when you're playing balloons. Favorite hero? Oh, I accidentally placed that. <laughs> Favorite hero? Ooh. I feel like I just love Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn's just such a fun hero to use, especially Harlequin or Oban. Because Oban buffs Druids, and you can't go wrong with that. Oh, I love that, like, yeah, stacking every single buff you possibly can on the Druids. That's, That's cool. what makes it so much fun, when you just constantly are stacking crazy buffs onto a single tower, just being able to try to just god boost. There's one video I did ooh. long, long time. Ooh, this is a lot of Moabs. Ooh, I think uh, we're fine. Do you want to get it? You actually, you kind of gave me an idea. Okay. What if you buff me? You want to, dude, you want to buff you? <laughs> Why not? Oh no! I'm down. I'm actually so down. Let's, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Can I'll get you buff a, me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let me go ahead and get. I'll get jungle drums. I'll get MIB. Oh yeah. Berserker brew. Nice. Oh yes. <laughs> oh no. All right. Let's see if we can get you to start soloing everything. What if we get the next upgrade for you, and then start selling uh -huh. towers and seeing how powerful you are. I agree, let's do that. All right, I'm selling. Oh no, oh no. All right, I'm sending you money so you can get the next upgrade. Yes. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Oh, he's got oh, like- so much like, whoa, I'm like Super Saiyan. Oh my gosh, what's happening? <laughs> he's got Did I even crazy. ask what's around me? What is that? Dude, you're just surging. You're Super Saiyan. You got this <laughs> giant purple energy now. Let's go. In the world of electricity, that's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> You've turned into the exploding phone yourself. Starting to get like a little jittery. I wonder why that is going jittery on us. I forgot to mention, you have six tiers on your tower. What? Once you get to the fifth tier, there's a final upgrade that you can get, and it is going to be hype. I like, a, like a paragon. Yeah, kind of like a paragon that we have to upgrade to get to. And it's apparently oh. super expensive. <laughs> It's gonna get crazy. I wonder if the buffs are actually lagging the tower. Oh, yeah. I think the the alchemist was making a big difference. The alchemist was. Work. Let's put the alchemist back down. We might need him. Two times projectile speed. Two pierce. Orbiting phones. <laughs> what? So that's like that's like glaive lord, right? That's exactly. I guess you now have a glaive lord ability, except you just have phones that orbit you all the time now. That's so insane. I actually think Glaive Lord is like one of the coolest towers. I completely agree. Okay, do we do this or do we double double down and get some more money for us? Hmm. Okay, tell you what. You Time Master, you send the next 10 rounds and then I'll upgrade. All right, I'm sending 10 rounds, let's go. Okay, but can you send me money first? Oh, you're right. Oh no. Okay, okay, I send you money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, go. Okay, there we go. Oh. Dude. That's so cool. Let's go. Oh, he just destroys them now. Oh my god. No way! Okay, Zo MG. Two Zo MGs. Two Zo MGs. He was having He one shot it! <laughs> you... Oh the aesthetic is so cool as well. That is so gnarly. I love that. Uh, the Zo MG, I wonder why just the Zo MG himself is just like so slow. Alright, there's only one <laughs> option here. It's to send another ten rounds. Let's see what he's got okay. here. I'm ready. I, I I feel like I'm unstoppable at this point. He's very, you're not bad. 
He's doing a lot of damage now. You're at 68,000. Wait, are you seeing this thing that comes up that says Instapop? So wait, does he, wait, what is the, oh, if you look at the upgrade, you have a 1% chance to Instapop balloons. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so no matter what, even if we get up to like the crazy high rounds, he just has a chance to instantly destroy any balloon? So like no children balloon spawning, just like, just like straight into a blender. <laughs> just straight, okay, we might need to get you some upgrades here. Hmm. Oh, I'm sending you uh, money. Uh, Can you get that next upgrade? Uh, I was gonna just do a jungle drums. Is that not gonna be enough? That's not gonna be enough. I send you more money. Upgrade <laughs> it quick. Okay, golden flames. <laughs> oh, let's go! <laughs> oh, this is so excessive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I know what this is based on. I do this series on my channel where I cover excessively expensive phones. <laughs> this is them. And now you have them just orbiting around you as a shield to deal with it. Your final <laughs> upgrade is ready. Wait. Oh! <laughs> I just the final upgrade. <laughs> we need $378,000. <laughs> that is actually so, so cool. Okay, you, you gotta send me some money. I gotta get some more. I gotta get more banana farms. It's the only option now. Wait, do I have an ability? Yeah, you do have an ability. Here, let me slow it down. Use your ability. Dare I press it? I'm. I think you have to press it. I think it's the. I think we gotta find out what it does. Okay. I'll. I'll wait for this thing to get closer. Okay. Here. Here we go. Ooh. All right. Let it rip. Three, two, one, go. Uh. I think he. <laughs> wait. He pops them too fast. I think you jump up into the air and then just throw out like a bunch of phones that all explode at him. What? I think that's what, because if you look, you like jumped up into the air and then just like destroyed them. Also, we're on round 98. Okay. You have 200,000 pops. Oh okay. yeah, I've carried the entire thing from like 50. Yeah, it now, see, now you're like ready to go. All right, okay, what wait, can we slow down so I can see the ability? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're slowed down now. Okay. Uh, actually, we need to recharge. Can you speed up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. Round 100. All right, let's see what we got. All right, we're slowed down. Okay. Round 100. You know what? I'm so confident. Alchemist can go. He do you don't need it. He's that confident in himself. Confidence is key. All right. All right, let's see what Three, you got. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, he does jump. What? <laughs> <laughs> he jumps up in the air and just dunks the phones down on him. No way. That was incredible. That's so good. All right, we need to save up more money. You're at 100, round 120, just casually soloing him. 500,000 pops. What's the highest you've done? Like unmodded? On, unmodded? Mm -hmm. um, like 260, 270, I think. Really? I, yeah, I've never, I've never really like sat down and dedicated myself to like, okay, actually, how far can I get through? I probably should, because I feel like that would be so much fun to really test myself on that. For me, that's like the fun, the most fun thing to do in balloons. Yeah, I completely agree. I feel like at just some point though, it just becomes super laggy. But with the new, the new accessibility option that takes away projectiles and doesn't make the game uh. as laggy. I feel like that might actually be the play here. So I I heard that it was the damage calculations that make it really slow. Is it actually just the projectiles? It's definitely a mixture of all of them, right? Because once you have so many balloons, and then, yeah, I mean, you have all these BADs and it's spawning all like the thousands and thousands of children balloons, that definitely doesn't help. But also having projectiles take up all the screen is a big portion of it as well. I'm not a super big tech person on that, so don't take my word for it but that's from what my understanding of it is. It doesn't seem to matter like what phone you get, what PC you play it on, it just lags after a certain point, doesn't it? This feels like a very monumental button to press. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's gonna be, he's gonna become super saiyan powerful. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. What? <laughs> You're I'm just, ascending. <laughs> you just okay. We oh let's just God. we're just putting it to the ultimate test. Let's just skip 100 rounds. Do it. Oh. 
Okay, we're at round 270 now. I'm having such a power trip right now. <laughs> Dude, all right, let's go past the highest round you've ever gotten to. Let's jump up all the oh. way to round 372 now. Well, this is just embarrassing. <laughs> you, you have 13 million pops. Four, sorry, 14 million How pops. Did that oh, I'm sorry. It's like I blinked and that just. <laughs> 19 million pops. Okay, he's still too easy. Like, wait, what's that B8? Oh my gosh. I, I'm trying to comprehend what damage buff was I given between uh, level tier five and tier six. Uh, that would be a just yes on the buff check. <laughs> what buffs? Yes, that's what you got. You have over a hundred million pops! <laughs> I kind of just want to watch the number go up. I've never seen numbers fly this quickly. Isn't that crazy? That's just literally, you pop 250, I mean, I'm sorry, I mean 326 million balloons. Let's go up to all the way up to around 872. You just jumped up okay, to so over 500 million. Oh, wait, wait. You're so I'm close. not even seeing anything. I'm just seeing numbers. <laughs> You just, what do you, you're just seeing numbers. The projectiles are like lagging so much. I'm just watching the number count go up. <laughs> wait, wait, so question for you. So uh, normal bad, how much health does a normal bad have? Like around okay. 100. So it scales, but at round 100, a BAD with everything included, or I think just the, the BAD has 43,000 HP. Okay, and then around now, how much would a BAD have? Oh man, there's some mathematical equation to it, but probably at least a couple million, I would think, like five million HP. Probably more than that, honestly. And then there's Let's... just me chucking phones at them. Okay, we them. just, does, does it show over around a thousand for you? Uh, it's going to 980, 990, now it says a thousand. Okay, we're over. You have over a billion pops now. For this has gotten out of hand, dude. You, <laughs> you've taken over. I forgot balloons. to use my ability. Do you know even? Oh no! What just happened? Oh, I balloons used the ability. almost. Balloons almost got by. That was very close. This would easily outdo like a paragon tower, right? Oh, hands down. Paragons could probably only get up to like round three or four hundred. This is soloing round a thousand. This is this is probably one of the stronger Mata Tower I've seen. This is crazy. <laughs> I mean, we're just clicking on skip a hundred rounds at a time now, and it's just like flying through the rounds. I it's never just... thought in my life I would see four figures underneath the word round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're around at one thousand three. Okay, I'm gonna try something just absolutely crazy here. All right, it's probably not gonna catch up for you. But I'm gonna just, I can enter any round that we can jump to. And it won't show for you until, unless we beat the round, but what round, like any, literally any number, it could be round a million. What round do you wanna jump to? Surely round a million will not work. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Okay, round so. Million. One, okay, one, zero, 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 zero. There we go, round one million. I skipped around a million. Oh no, the, no the, the Legend of the Night had to kick in. The Legend of the Night kicked in. <laughs> but he's still getting pops! He's at 15 billion pops! <laughs> 15 billion pops. <laughs> Sorry, I mean 18 billion pops. Every balloon he pops gives him like another billion pops. Oh, 22 billion pops. Oh, we lost. Now we go. <laughs> <laughs> so he has some sort of like insta kill on where it like doesn't matter what the hell of the balloon is. It actually is. It actually is a banana phone. So it's like a banana Wait. Samsung phone. I can, I can zoom in here. I took a picture and oh, sent it to yeah. you. There's a little tiny I banana. <laughs> so we're gonna end on this video. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. That is so cool. Make sure to go check out his channel and we'll see you guys tomorrow for some more awesome balloons videos. Peace.